time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Thursday, December 14th. Hope everybody's having a good day. S&P up 7, NASDAQ down 39, Russell up 44, Dow up 78. Gold and silver, big move higher. Gold's up 2.5%, silver up 65 Notes and bonds higher, 10-year ten ten yield down over 2%, down at 3.939. Oil up almost 3%, same with natty gas. Grains a little bit higher, euro and the pound higher. Bitcoin slightly green. VIX holding a bid at about 12.5, up 2.5%. And we got ourselves a real straddle, a real live full boat straddle. None of this inverted crap. So I will be trading my normal power hour. I liked it better when uh, SPX was even down below 4,700, but I'll take it. I will take it. Little pullback off the top. Russell was up even more. I pushed above that recent high from back in late July. Retraced a little bit. Still up over 2% on the day, though. NASDAQ, the weakest, slightly in the red. But my bots are on, ready to roll. So tranche one will come in here in about two and a half minutes. Yep, normal size for me. The only thing I did today was a uh, little small size discretionary rick, and that hit. Closed two out of three. At 30%, and then on that last push down, I closed my last one. So I booked about 1300 on on my little discretionary Rick. So Wuga was your... Was your uh, your bot just selling the shorts then, I guess? Huh. I haven't done that, so I'm not... I haven't uh, bought the longs manually and then tried to use a bot with just the short legs. I'm not sure why that would matter, but... Oh, okay, so you have the bot buying the longs too. Interesting. And your bot bought the same number of longs that you were using on the shorts, so you're completely covered? Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure why that would be.
Good to know, though. Is that the have you has it worked before or is this your first time botting it? Now, why is my bot not firing? Tranche one normal day. Oh, yeah, I moved it. Uh, I moved it a minute later. Dick K persuaded me to move my tranche one a minute later. Or actually two minutes. So here in one minute, it'll start coming in. Should be the 17 or the uh, 17 should be the 15 straddle. We we're getting close to down day territory, but uh, it bounced right off that level. I think I jinxed it by posting in the community that we may have a down day. So it immediately bounced. All right, here comes tranche one filled at 780. 4715 straddle filled at 780. So at 470, I'll start trying to reduce my stop. VIX got up to 12.74 today. Back down to 12.45 now. Yeah, it feels like it's been a while since we did a had a real live power hour. A real one. I will be closing out my TGIF today. Unless we get a swift move lower, that one will take a loss.
All right, what else we got going here? So uh, entered a new time fly. With both the fly and the diagonal in one structure. Very little risk to the upside. Our D29 is hanging out in the upper end of the range. It's down, but if it stays in this area between now and expiration, should be able to book a profit on that one. In our DS22, I was looking at a couple different things today. I was looking at potentially taking off the butterfly and moving it closer, or just taking off the butterfly altogether. But I didn't really like the the risk, so I'm just holding for now. Got a hedgehog and ES, just put that one on not too long ago. Short strangling gold is up a little bit after adjustment. MES, we adjusted. It's about break even or up a little bit. Natty gas is up a little bit. Yeah, I think it makes sense to do them that way, PT. I mean, you do have you do have the risk of volatility contracting and the T zero line kind of sagging in the middle, which will which will happen on those. But uh, you know, as we're seeing today, even just a little move lower is going to looks like it's going to pop volatility, will, which will work in a, in the favor of those. So continue trading those at this point for a while. Traded a little bit of futures today, booked a little $387 profit on Bitcoin. Uh, I also traded the Russell to the to the downside. I had a nice profit. I've given that back plus some. So I'm down a little bit on my future, a few hundred bucks on my futures trading right now. Oh yeah, Mauro, how does how does IB differentiate between the PM and the AM cycles? Seems like I get that question quite a bit from IB folks. So like Toss makes it pretty clear they have a little AM on the uh, option chain. Oh, they do have it. Okay.
Seen a decent amount of decay already on our straddle. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take my uh, TGIF till tomorrow, especially after OFM, FOMC. Get some pretty wonky IV action. Typically, not in your favor. I mean, I guess depends on where I'm at now. Now that price bounced back up, yeah. I mean, I guess pretty close to. Depending on where I'd get filled on this thing. I was looking at it when price was already down. About seven bucks. Yeah, we'll so we'll see where we're at towards the end of the day. If it's here or lower, I'm gonna definitely close it out. If it's higher and I'm almost at, you know, if I'm not able to get much more than max loss, I would hold because there's no reason not to then, but there's definitely still a reason to close it now. Yeah, trading naked. I don't I don't trade any different on uh option expiration. Can you show me where I find the time period menu with a picture? Are you talking to me, Eves, or are you talking to somebody else? Oh, Mara. All right, five minutes till tranche number three or two. Excuse me, getting ahead of myself. Thank you, Chad. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, Ken. Uh, yeah, by the way, I was, I was, I think I was a little confused on your question earlier today. 
Yeah. The reason I use the, the gap is just because that's what we can measure with option Omega. Um, I don't know if you dug in a little bit deeper to kind of see if there is any advantage to using a few minutes after if there's a gap or whatever, but, but yeah, it was more not necessarily because the opening price is ideal. It's more just because that's what is easy to measure with our, with the tools that we have. You missed it yesterday, Chad. I was rapping. I did a I did my own rap intro for FOMC. <laughs> was it awesome though? I don't know. I'm not sure I'd say awesome. It's better than Eminem, for sure. Should we enter Tranche 2? Why wouldn't we? like it's going to be a five wide potentially So we'll start coming in here in about 30 seconds. Now it looks like maybe a 15 straddle again. Forty-seven fifteen straddle coming in hot, filled at six fifty. So I'll reduce my stop if it gets down to three ninety. All right, 15 is the number, my friends. 15 is the number.
Tranche three is at three twenty five. For me. Three thirteen is your tranche two, right, Dickay? Not tranche three. Just a just a little hundred point move away from all time highs, my friends. Dow, I didn't realize Dow hit all time highs yesterday. Dia, three seventy three point six seven. NASDAQ is ever so close as well. Get a high of 16,764. At a high today of 16,603. Rut, it's got a ways. Rut hit a high of 24.58, it's still below 2,000. Ranch one is up 20%. Tranche two is up four percent. There's a post on Financial Juice earlier. The ECB is largely united on seeing rate cuts later than market bets. Like that may have had something to do with the little push lower. Maro and Elliot, you guys need to just tell get with the ECB. Tell them to tell them to hike some rates. Forget this. Rate cuts later. Let's let's hike these things.
Bix back down to 12.3. Oh, that's right. UK, they're too good for ECB. No AM iron condor for me today. Just a discretionary Rick and some power hour. My Rick hit, I just did a three lot. I got, got added two at 30% and then the last one, I don't know the percentage, but entered at 1240, got out of two or three at 1615, and my last one at 2165. So it was a nice one. Chad, you kind of went from uh, paper trading to all in pretty quick. <laughs> pretty pretty hefty size. Straight out of paper trading. Doing good though. All right, tranche three here in a minute or so. Can we get a five wide straddle for tranche number two? Five wide strangle. Mine will start coming in here about 30 seconds. Yeah, it looks like the 20s and 15s. Twenties and fifteens for tranche two, three. Filled at four sixty. Two to one. All right, so 47.15 is the sweet spot. Mm 
It's been kind of drifting higher here for the last hour. That is a beautiful sight. That is a beautiful sight, Chadwick. It's even more beautiful when there's like five minutes to the bell and it's still there. I guess that'd be the only thing more beautiful. All right, Tron one's up 25%. When's the last time I had a real nice power hour win with a real power hour? Let's see here. December 1st was a nice all three tranche winner on a full full boat. That's it for the month. There's some, been other little small size ones. I think it's today. I think today's the day. <laughs> Back in October. I am up $2,400 in power hour for the month of December. I guess if I would have been trading full size every time, I would, I mean, I'd still be green. I'd probably be up 10K maybe. Tranche one up 31%. I'm looking for 470 to reduce my stop. It's currently trading at 540. Coming back down to our 15 level, 16.
Crunch two is up 20%. Also at the 15 strike. Early indication, market on close and balance, 305 million buy side. Gordon Gekka said greed is good, so I don't know. I started watching, somebody in here recommended uh, We Crashed on Apple TV. I started watching that. It's pretty good. Oh, Andrew K is you? Yeah. Yeah, he's good. And Hathaway, too. I didn't realize she was in it. All right. Hanging out at the 15s. Tranche one. It's down to 505. I need 470 to reduce my stop. Girlfriend experience. Is that, Chris, is that porn? <laughs> okay. I haven't heard of that one. What's that on? No, yeah. Sounds like a good plot. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we should we trust a Chris recommendation? Uh, you know where that might lead us. Oh, Elliot's vouching for you. Okay. Is that on Netflix? What is that on? Friend experience. All right. I got to keep my my list of shows for the winter time. I don't watch too much in the when the weather's nice, but it's it's cold out. Nothing better than snuggle up, snuggling up under a nice warm blanket.
Didn't quite get to 40% on Tron 1. Getting close. So we got tranche one is up 34%, tranche two is up 21, and tranche three is up 8%. Eighty five, getting close to four seventy. We get back down under fifteen, should hit. Let's see where are we at 20, 22, 22 minutes till the bell. The four ninety five. Yeah, it'll be adjusted down to three dollars above the current price. So when I get down to 470, I'll I'll reduce my stop to 770. Which on Trade Steward, the uh, stop is based on the opening credit, so I would reduce it to minus 10 cents. Still 305 million buy side, early indication. SPX down in the 4713 handle.
tranche two, I'm at about 20%. Still hovering around 490. I need 470 on tranche one. Four eighty five. VIX up to 12.43. We can pop back up to 15. It should, should get down to a stop reduction. There it is. Stop reduced on tranche one. Tranche two is now up to 28.5%. Tranche two, I'm looking for 390. It's probably not going to happen till about five minutes till the bell. Where are you at on your Rick? Where's where's price at? Post a screenshot. Chris will have to tell you what to do. He's he's the one with the crystal ball. Yeah, that's pretty nuts, isn't it? For tranche one, this was the, what the straddle looked like at tranche one time last week. All right, so if you if we bounce, you could get some. You can feel some pain.
What do you think, Chris? What should you do? Charge two at 33%, trading at 435. Getting a little bouncy. Final market on close and balance is coming in three minutes. Looking for 390 on tranche two is trading at 420. Getting close to trench two. Ten more cents. Three ninety five. Getting close. Uh, drop down a little bit. Not quite there. A one point bounce will do it. It may have hit 3.9. I, I, I'm looking at Trade Steward. I never saw it on here. Yeah, 3.9. All right, there it is. All right, stop reduced on tranche one and two. Forty seven sixteen pin. Let's go. Market on close and balance. Final number two hundred million sell side. Nine minutes to go. Trade Steward record the latest lowest stop. Not sure what you mean. So I'm just, it shows the current, current price, but it's always a little bit, I don't know. They must update it like every 10 seconds or something like that.
Tranche three is at 50% now with this little bounce. Oh, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know that there's a price log. All right, SPX getting a little bouncy. Little bouncy. Simmer down. All right, here in two minutes, I will be closing tranche one and two. And I'll probably let tranche three ride unless we drop here. Because I like to manage them in the last five minutes. I had a 90% and then I also had a timed exit and I just removed both of them so I can kind of manage them here in the last five minutes. That way, if, you know, if it's a strangle and I want to let it pin, I don't have to worry about it. That kind of thing. Correct. I don't have any exit in the bot. Hanging around our 15s. All right, I'm going to start trying to exit tranche one and two. Right about here. Build at two fifty five on tranche one. Launch two. Trying to get filled. Filled at 265 on tranche two. Tranche three. Let's see if we get a little bump, a little bounce. Stay above 15s. Need to stay above 15s.
down below 14. Three minutes to go. There we go. Up to above 15. Yeah, M fields with a straddle, you know, it's pretty tough to pin the straddle, but if I have a strangle, then I will consider taking it closer to the bell. Like I'm doing with tranche three. Two minutes. And my, my straddles were dead centered, so. I closed both of those, tranche one and tranche two. Tranche three is five wide, so I got a little bit more range. If we can just stay between 15 and 20. Nice, Chad. A little over a minute to go. I know Elliot's looking for a pin. Ah. Uh. <laughs> All right, now we got to stay below 20. 45 seconds. Nice, Elliot. Chad over 10K today. Elliot close to 20K. Oh, man. Now we're pushing 20s. Stay below 20. Up towards 20, 10 seconds. It's getting close. Getting close. Ring the bell. There we go. Final price, approximately $19.50 for the pin. Tranche three for the pin. All right, so... 52.50 on tranche one, a little over 5,000 on tranche two. And it'll end up being 28.50 for tranche three when that settles. Nice. How about that, my friends? We had a real power hour today. It's amazing what a little premium will do for us. All right. So live stream tomorrow. Tomorrow is December 15th. So we'll be trading zero DTE in the morning at the open and we'll be back for power hour. Hopefully they keep some more premiums for us for Friday. All right, all take care. Have a good night. Cheers.